Hi folks, this is Vince with Ads Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to take a quick look at Zombie City Defense 2. It's important to note that what you're looking at here is a pre-release build, so everything that you're about to see is subject to change. Right off the bat, I just have a small suggestion for the developer. Um, when I had my Xbox 360 controller plugged in, I was forced to use it. There was no mouse cursor. Um, I had to access the uh, menu with my Xbox 360 controller. There's no way to toggle between the two without completely disconnecting your Xbox 360 controller. I would like a way to switch between the two without having to do that. It's just, it's annoying to have to reach behind my tower, which is, you know, relatively not far away from me, but I do have to stretch and, and get behind the damn thing. But yeah, there should be a way to, to do that from the settings menu without having to manually disconnect your controller each time. So as far as the game itself, I haven't had a chance to play it yet, so this is going to be a first impressions video. I just got my code like 10 minutes ago. But uh, here's a look at the settings menu. There is music, sound effects, uh, resolution, windowed mode, and uh, graphics quality. Now one thing that's missing here is the controls. Uh, when I had the Xbox 360 controller plugged in, there was actually a separate menu that showed me the controls for it. But with the mouse and keyboard and the Xbox 360 controller unplugged, the controls menu is gone. I don't know why that is. There should be a controls menu for the mouse and keyboard as well. That way I know how to play the game. But anyway, uh, speaking of which, uh, let's just go ahead and get the game started and see how the game is played. New game. Oh, this is this is how as far as I got with the Xbox 360 controller. I couldn't figure out how to get up there to name my faction, which is what prompted me to just um, you know, switch out and, and just disconnect the whole thing altogether. Alright, uh, select an empty slot. All right. Hopefully there's a tutorial. Training, yes, we will do that. Alright, click on, okay, we have to click on that. Got it. Let's get you used to controlling advanced tactical drones. Objective and goals. Complete basic training. Alright, prepare for mission. All right, so if I zoom in, maybe I can see this a little bit better. All right, base, the center of your operations in this area. If the general inside is killed, the mission is over. The base produces a small amount of basic resources and can be used to recruit engineers and guards. Select the base to proceed. All right, factory produces materials. Materials are needed to train units. Select one of the engineer squads in front of the base and select it and send it here. As soon as it reaches its destination, you will begin receiving a steady supply of necessary resources. Select the unit and send it to the factory. Okay, so where is this unit? All right. In front of the base. Ready for service. Okay, so it's, it's this wrench Reporting. icon. All right, so if I send it here, Very right well. click. Okay, so it's sort of like an RTS control scheme. Time controls in the upper right hand corner. Looks like there's food, possibly parts, medicine, and population. I've never played uh, the first game, if there was a first game, so I don't know what this game is going to have me do. I'm assuming it's some sort of zombie defense, as the, as the title implies. Alright, so I'm here now. I'm so going. Is, is it going to produce anything? Very well. I'm going. Produces huge amounts of materials. You're better off putting an engineer in here. Okay, Ready. I'm trying to do that. I'm going. Scavenger. Okay, I don't want to do that. All right, so am I in the right place? That's the question. I hope I am. All right, so where's the rest of the tutorial? Oh, there we go. Farm. I didn't have it. I was too zoomed in. Okay, so the farm produces food. If you have problems with food, your squads will suffer from hunger, which greatly reduces their effectiveness. Select one of the engineer squads in front of the base and send it here. As soon as it reaches the destination, you will begin receiving a steady supply of food. Select the unit. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do that then. So we need our engineer unit, which... Ready to roll out. Okay, there's one here. Ready, Commander. Very well. Insufficient food. All right, I'm going. And you can even see up here in the uh, very top of the screen, there's a minus 72 red. Uh, plus 450 green, plus 15 green for medicine. So you will have some resources to manage. All right, so this guy should be in range now. Okay, engineering. Oh yeah, look at that. The food uh, just went up from negative to a positive green, which is good. Every building needs to have someone inside of it in order to function. Let's train an engineer so we can activate some of the other buildings. You can train an engineer using the shortcut menu or directly through the building. Select this building, press the construction button. Okay, so click that. And then is this the construction button? 
Okay. There we go. And then engineer squad. There we go. All right, now how do we get off that menu? Right click, there we go. Barracks are used to recruit infantry squads. It can also be accessed from the shortcut menu in the bottom right corner. Okay, so the, it is down. Instead of clicking on this, I can also do it from down here. Okay, select one of the engineer squads in front of the base and send it here. All right, so we will do that. Awaiting orders. Right, that's not an engineer squad. I have to wait. Ready for battle. Ready. Oh, there it is. Ready to roll out. So I'm guessing when a building turns green, that means it's being operated by an engineer. Okay. Depot is used to build turrets and vehicles. Keep in mind that turrets must be deployed before they can fire. Select one of the engineer squads in front of the main base and send it here. Unit ready. Okay. Ready, Commander. How many engineers am I building? Am I building one, two... Right, let's build a few more just so we have them. I'm looking to see how much they cost. Oh, activating the barracks. Alright, let's do that. Scouting and scavenging. All abandoned buildings contain a small amount of resources. Scavenging them is faster than producing resources. Also, some buildings have people hiding inside who can join your ranks. The best unit for scavenge rescue operations is the scout. Train one by selecting the barracks and clicking on the scout icon in the production menu, or use the shortcut menu. Alright, I like the shortcut menu. Let's go ahead and do that. Alright, so we're going to build one of these guys. Did I do it? Or is that not it? Why is that? Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on there. I'm trying to build one. Unit ready. Oh, that's a scout squad. Okay, so what was I, what was I, what was I building then? What is this? That's a spike bomb. Oh, pfft. oops, I was trying to... Wrong menu! Okay, yeah, let's click on that, and okay, so here's the scout squad, so we're gonna do that. Okay, let's close that down. Looks like there's a day and night cycle, upper right hand corner. Zombies are more dangerous at night. Military line of sight is reduced. Okay, so note to self, fight Unit zombies ready. during the day. Alright, so there's something ready. So Awaiting I got, got my scout. Copy okay. that. All right, now what? Uh, there we go. Order your scout squad to occupy this shelter. Absolutely. It will start slowly uh, sending rescued people to your base. Once the scout squad arrives, you can speed time up and order in the top right corner and wait for the rescue operation to finish. Okay. Unit ready. All right, so I'm going to speed up time. Yeah, population is going up there. Oh, there we go. Scavenging operation. Order your scout squad to occupy the warehouse. Ready for action. Warehouses contain much more resources than ordinary yes. abandoned buildings. All right. Improving buildings. All buildings can be upgraded. Engineers and scouts are best at building upgrades. Place at least one squad inside in order to build barricades. In order to build barricades by selecting the building, clicking on the construction menu, and then selecting the barricades upgrade. Okay, so... If I click on that, and then production and upgrades, and then that's a militia squad engineer barricades. There we go. Other buildings. Each building has its own unique characteristics. Place a unit in a building to find out what benefits it gives. Each building can contain a limited amount of squads. Also, any building can be destroyed. You can order one of your militia squads complete. or scout squads to enter a building and capture it. Well, I've got an engineer here, right? All right, well, let's, yeah, let's, there we go. Reporting. Tall buildings. Um, the taller the building, the larger the bonus it gives to your unit's range. Order one of your militia units to occupy this building. All right, so where's my militia? Ready for service. Ready, commander. There we go. All right, so uh, this one here. Absolutely. So it's like a, a tower of sorts. 
There we go. Contaminated building. Some buildings have enemies inside. These are red. Most enemies within a building will be revealed only upon entering that building. But don't go in unprepared. Use flamethrowers for massive damage. Select the building in order to continue. Okay. Enemy approaching. So I suppose... Oh. They're attacking. Interesting. So it's sort of like a, a RTS. Humans versus zombies kind of thing. With resources and stuff. That's really cool. Roar yourself. Alright, so what was I supposed to do? I clicked on the building. Small wave. A small enemy wave will arrive in 40 seconds. Well, I think I just beat the crap out of it. Oh, there, actually, there's more waves coming now. Okay, try to keep units inside the building since units in buildings... Okay. Yeah, I had the game on fast forward while that was going, so... It looks like I completed the tutorial and I'm ready to take on the actual game. I think I've got the gist of it. So let's hit continue. Now, is there any more tutorials or was that it? Alright, rocks and flames. Okay, let's prepare for mission. Huh. Tactical configuration. Okay, so is this what we can start with? Scout squad, uh, medic squad, rifleman, marksman, AT squad. There's vehicles. Machine gun turrets. Hmm. I like this. You can actually choose what you want to bring with you. Perks. Exoskeletons. Increases squad speed. Light armor, heavy armor. Hmm. Reduced rations. Squads are much weaker but consume less food. Alright, well let's go ahead and do a scout squad. Or... It says free slot 6 now. Alright, okay, so I guess everything in green is what we're taking with us. So, why don't we take a medic squad? Oh no, this is research. Oh, okay. So, yeah, this is something that the tutorial didn't cover, so I'm a little confused here. So I'm guessing you'll be spending tactical points to upgrade or to unlock certain squads and abilities. Um, and then you'll use free slots to equip said things. Uh, Alright, so... If we go to exoskeletons, for example, if I undo this, now I've got seven. Okay, so I already have this researched, but this is white. I don't have this research. It's going to cost me 3,000 points. Yeah, okay, it makes sense now. All right. Again, this is my first time playing, folks, so bear with me. Um, let's go ahead and... I kind of like the medic squad. I'm going to go ahead and research that, and then we'll uh, bring that with us. Marksman squad, armed with rifles, they can inflict high damage at medium range. I like that as well. Alright, so we're out of tactical points. I'm going to go ahead and bring the marksman squad along. We've got two free slots. Uh, can we do more than one? Like, can we do two squads instead of one? Guess not. Alright, so we're going to do with two free slots. I don't think we can do anything. Alright, let's disembark. So where are we at? We're at... Okay, we're here. All right, so more than likely I'm going to get my face chewed off. All right, now we've got some militia squads already set up, which is nice. I do want to probably get them into that tall building there. Let's go ahead and get uh, engineers built. If memory serves, that's what I'm supposed to be doing. Enemy approaching. Um, I do want that marksman squad up in that tower. And we're going to need food. So we need to put... Yeah, there's a building here. That has a food symbol above it. We've got a building here with screws in it, so I guess, yeah. Engineer, do we have and one? And the ready. Reporting. That's the general. Okay, I'm trying to select. Now, is that an engineer that's re that's available? Omega headquarters. Reporting. Oh, ready. A, there we go. All right, so let's get over Very here. Well. And then, I guess we'll rotate. Unit ready. All right. Can I set a rally point? That would be really nice. Reporting. Cause it seems like a. Yes. Okay, so that's a militia squad. Ready. Copy that. Now what is this? This is my. Ready for action. Militia squad. Okay. Unit ready. Let's Enemy approaching. Put that. Yes. Guess I'll put him in there. 
if I can. Copy that. I can only have Absolutely. one militia squad per building. Yes. Uh, let's just put them behind this barricade here. Okay. Um, there should be another engineer Order. that I'm Ready. training. All right. So this guy's in here. We're getting food. That's good. 186 food per tick. We're going to need more medicine and more of these screw things. All right. Let's go back to this menu. Machine gun turret. Two population and 1,200 of those screw... I don't know what to call that. Parts, maybe? Maybe we can call them parts. Um, all right. The next engineer squad should be ready soon. Unit ready. All right, scout squad. Enemy approaching. Get a scout squad going. Reporting. All right. Um, I want the engineer in here. Going. Luckily, I mean, it looks like we're pretty holed up here. I mean, I don't see a way of them getting past me unless they rush me all at once. Like this little base here is nice. I do want to get someone Unit in here. Ready. Unit. Okay, so this scout is waiting orders. Oh, this is my marksman that I. I okay, I want this Copy guy from that. the tower. Awaiting directive. Right, I want my scout. Absolutely. Here. Okay. So what's this upgrade? Greatly improves your squad's combat capability. Oh, no, I want. Ready to roll. Click out. on the building. Production and upgrades. All right. Barricades. Okay. There's nothing that I can do with that. Um. Production and upgrades. Machine gun turret. A very good defensive turret that combines decent damage with good armor. Armored bulldozer. Now let's go ahead and do the machine gun turret. I want to see what that looks Enemy like. Enemy approaching. See, it looks like you can, instead of selecting the building, I mean, you can access, it looks like everything from here, from the bottom right-hand corner, as opposed to having to find the building that you're looking for and then train it. I'd like to build uh, a few more militia squads, but I'm out of population. Okay. Is this an engineer? Ready. I'm going. It is. Okay, so what am I gonna do with this engineer? Unit ready. Now this ready, scout. Commander. Yeah, let's put the engineer ready, in commander. here. What does this do? It's just an industrial building. And then we'll and use the ready. scout maybe to go out. Scavenge. Your squad will automatically scavenge nearby buildings for resources. Use special abilities, which is what? Nothing at the moment. Or I can upgrade, greatly improve your squad's combat capabilities. Let's go ahead Enemy and do... Approaching. Oh, no, Copy I don't, that. don't want to go out yet. Scavenge. Okay, so he's going to scavenge this... Oh, get Absolutely. back. Get back, get back, get back. Yes. Copy that. And this is going to get rather nasty. I might need more militiamen. Uh-oh. Looks like we're fighting hand to hand in that barracks or whatever this is, the police station. Okay. Ready for battle. All right, luckily we Absolutely. won. All right, so let's go ahead and hit scavenge and see what happens. So it looks like he's scavenging this house. All right. Uh, yeah, we definitely need more men. Didn't we build a turret? We did. Reporting. All right, so let's get right this, away. Let's get this turret right away, right away. Somewhere right away. Yeah, there we go. Enemy approaching right away, right away. Hopefully. All right, now it looks like the scout Awaiting squad order. is in trouble. I wonder if we can get him to retreat. Heal. Okay, yes. Right. Let's get him out of there. Copy that. Absolutely. Now, is this thing set up? Ready, Commander. How do I set it up? Deploy. Ah, there we go. Wow, we're getting butts kicked. All right, well. Wow, this is taking a while to get set up. There's a little yellow circle that's uh, sort of filling up here along the outside of this icon. So I'm assuming that that's, yeah, it's just setting up. All right. All right, uh, more population. We're gonna want. Um, yeah, we don't have enough for another militia squad. Enemy approaching. What we could do? I mean, we could set up a bunch of machine gun turrets and then send the militia squads out. 
How about a medic squad? That might be a good idea, because I'm sure we're taking some damage. Like this guy here. Directive. Oh, he seems to be okay. Well, I've got this guy set up. Is he actually doing anything? Unit oh, there ready. he goes. Okay, so yeah, that, that turret is attacking. Good. Ready for battle. For whatever reason, he's not attacking that building, though. Or he's not attack. Okay, I, I see. Line of sight, probably. Alright. I should probably put the machine gun guys up in these towers here, if that's even possible. Uh, so there's the Ready. medic. The medic is Very healing, well. from the looks of it. Very well. So this game is going to definitely take uh, some time Enemy to get used to, I think. Ready, Commander. I do like the idea behind it. Survive for 15 days, amass 10,000 materials. So that's all I have to do is survive. Okay. I was hoping... Hoping that was the case. I didn't want to have to go out and try and, and, and take all of these houses. Yes? Oh, crap. This engineer's in trouble, I'm guessing. Oh, I see. We're using, what, medicine to heal units automatically? Alright, can we upgrade these towers and make them better? Barricades. Well, I need to amass materials. Enemy approaching. Part of me thinks that this thing isn't in the right place. It's just, I don't think... Yeah, this Reporting. thing... Can we move it somewhere to where it'd be more effective? Ready for battle! Ready for battle! Alright, maybe we could move it back here. Alright, so, undeploy. Oh, and that even takes time to do. Holy cow. All right. Um, in the meantime, what could we do? What could we do? Well, if all we have to do is survive for 15 days. We're on. We're 27 percent done. We've amassed almost enough materials to complete that part of it. So we just need to survive. Looks like for 10 more days, we're on day five out of 15. Enemy approaching. Ready. Let's come over here. Maybe we can heal these guys up if they need it. Ready, Commander. Right away. Right away. Right, let's move this right machine away. gun. I just want to see how right it'll away. fare over here. Right away. And then we'll uh, deploy it. All right, so that should be setting up now. All right. Um, yeah, at this point, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. We've got three populations. Should I be sending the scouts back out again? Is my scout even alive? I thought I had one. Reporting. Enemy approaching. I wonder if the scout bit it. Oh no, here it is. Okay, Ready for I see. Action. It. Yeah. Um. I should send it. I'm trying to find a nice big building. I don't know if the size of the building matters, but I'm looking for more population. Alright, so Copy that. let's get in there. Alright, so what am I going to get for that? Alright, so I'm getting materials, food, and medicine. Oh, these guys look nasty. Yes. Let's get him out of there. Well, these guys are tough. Look at them. They're not dying at all. Ready for battle. Enemy approaching. Alright, so what can we do to improve our firepower, if at all possible? 
I guess we can upgrade Anthony. our existing squads. And greatly improve. Um, yeah, let's upgrade go ahead and do that. Complete. All right, let's go ahead and improve Awaiting our squad's orders. performances. Upgrade complete. Since we have the materials we need. Awaiting directive. Upgrade complete. Reporting. Upgrade complete. Ready, commander. Upgrade complete. Upgrade complete. Ready, commander. Upgrade. Upgrade complete. Ready for battle. Upgrade complete. At the ready. Upgrade complete. Ready to roll out. Okay. Ready for action. Upgrade complete. Let's hope that this upgrading ready that I'm doing battle. is actually doing something Upgrade for me. Upgrade complete. Okay. Now what? Okay, my scouts back here. Awaiting directive. Let's go ahead and up upgrade complete. Yeah. Now we're at forty-six percent for our 10,000 materials that we're trying to amass, which is fine. Absolutely. Let's see if we can get to yes. scout over here. It Absolutely. seems like they're coming from down here, so if I can get them over here. Copy that. Absolutely. All right, so what's he gonna do? He's gonna scavenge over here. Okay, good. Nice and out of the way. All right, now with the engineers, can you build anything? No. Well, the upgrades seem to be helping a little bit. Their health is going down a little bit faster. Not a whole lot faster, but a little bit faster. At the ready. Right now, do we really need a militia squad ready, in here? Commander. Copy Enemy that. approaching. Awaiting orders. Builds vehicles and turrets. I wonder if I can build vehicles. Unless I have to unlock them first. That's for that... Okay, I can build an armored bulldozer. Perfect for cover early in the game. Oh, okay. I suppose we'll do a uh, few more machine gun turrets. Alright, we'll do one, two. Because our population isn't very high right now. It's only one. Yeah, I'm looking for ways to improve that, but I don't see anything around here that's going to give me population. Ah, grants a huge defensive bonus, but is very fragile. Alright, so this this thing's Ready done. Ready for right. action. Enemy approaching. Awaiting orders. There we go. So basically, with the, with the scout, I'm going to be spending most of my time with my scout Unit ready. going around getting... I mean, I can put them on auto scavenge, I suppose. But at the same time, I do have to keep an eye on them, though, just in case you know, any of these houses spawn creatures that would do me in. Ready, Commander. Right, let's get a turret right over away. on the side. Right away. Right away. Yeah, see, these guys are... yeah. Okay, good. They're leaving the scout alone. And then we'll deploy that here. That should be a good line of sight. Unit ready. Enemy approaching. Okay, the auto scavenge is really convenient. Now I don't have to worry about keep sending them to different places. Okay, now my population is back up to five again. That's good. So I could probably build more turrets if Ready I want to. Ready for battle. Right away. All right. Let's right go away. Do... Right away. Okay, we'll put one here. Reporting. And luckily, these things have a good bit of armor. Ready, Commander. All right, day nine out of fifteen, so we're getting there. Let's go ahead and speed up time, see if we can get this done any faster. Enemy approaching. I think we'll train. Train some more. Uh, yeah, we'll train more of those. 
More machine. Enemy yeah, more machine gun. Unit Ready for battle. Turrets, definitely. Reporting. Right away. All right, we'll set that up. Unit ready. Ready, Commander. All right, right away. Enemy here. Right away. Right away. And deploy. Unit ready. Ready for battle. Right away. Unit enemy ready. approaching. Uh oh. Our scout's in ready, trouble. Commander. Uh yes. yeah, get out of there. Get out of there. Alright, I'm gonna Absolutely. slow down time again. It's going way too quickly. Yes. Alright, so I brought my scout back. I mean he did a pretty good job on his own. I mean he got ten population for, well we're up to ten population now. We used some for more of those turrets. And ready, I can upgrade commander. existing ones. I'm back up to 95% of amassing my 10,000 materials goal, which is good. Enemy approaching. Reporting. I'm just fast forwarding at this point, I'm trying to get the day over with. Wow, there's a lot of them. At the ready. Enemy approaching. That. Right, let's get the scout Absolutely. back out here, yes. scavenging. Ready for battle. All right. Enemy Part of me is wondering if I should probably upgrade these more. Reporting. I've got twelve thousand nine hundred and seventy-five. I need ten thousand materials. Ready, Commander. Let's go and upgrade. Upgrade that. complete. Reporting. This one's taken the brunt of the attack. Let's see if upgrade upgrade that complete. One. All right. We're still uh, yeah above ten thousand. That's what we're looking for. All right. The scout's doing his thing. Good. And we're almost Enemy there. Approaching. Day 13 out of 15. Should probably train more units. Ready for probably. battle. Alright, let's go with, um... Only useful against weak zombies. How about some militia, or the uh, marksmen? Do three of those. See how they like that. We've got some spitters here. Enemy approaching. All right, fast forwarding time again. Scout's still doing his thing over here. Unit ready. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Slow down time. Seems like we're getting overrun there for a minute. Hey, these guys are fast. Luckily, we're still hanging in there. Ready for action. All right, so there's a marksman squad there. We can upgrade them, I think. Upgrade complete. Yeah, let's do that. Copy that. Put them over in this little corner. Enemy approach. Unit ready. All right, so we got another marksman Awaiting squad directing. ready. Look at the scout go. All right. Good man. All right. We should probably research or uh, build more stuff. I want to try this armored bulldozer out just to see what it does. Although I'm going to have to cool it on my spending though just because now I'm at 90. Yeah. Unit ready. All right. We're just at 10,000. Good. All right. So that unit's ready. All right. So let's get that bulldozer. Oh, it's not ready. Oh, that was Enemy the marksman. Approaching. That was the marksman I was building earlier. Ready for right. battle. Unit ready. Yes. Right Absolutely. All right. Is the bulldozer ready. ready? Yeah. Now it's ready. All right. Roger. So I wonder if this thing does it fire? Does Move it in. run things over? Roger. Let's just find out. We'll just put it right in the middle of everything here. See what it does. Moving. I don't think it actually does anything but provide cover. Enemy Roger. approaching. Is there a medic service. over here? Very well. I don't know if he'll heal the turret or not, but we'll, we'll give it a try. This turret has taken so much punishment. Ready, Commander. 
Looks like it. Nice. Okay. Thank goodness for the medics. At the ready. Yeah, let's put the bulldozer out front now. Let's, I just want to see if they attack that thing. All right. So, oh, our scout is ready under attack. Let's get him out of here. Copy that. Fast forward time. We're on day 15 out of 15. So this should be it. Yeah, okay, so it's, it's serving as like a barricade of sorts. They're attacking the bulldozer as opposed to going in and actually attacking these turrets. Ready, Commander. I should probably put this in range of the medic. Roger. If I can. Reporting. Nah, that medic's area is pretty small. Keep the, well. Let's keep the medic back. Mission accomplished. All right. All right, so not too bad for not knowing what I was doing. Um, again, it's sort of like a cross between an RTS and just survival tower defense-esque kind of game, um, at least for the first mission anyway. I don't know if in future missions I'll be actually tasked with going out and actually capturing territory and holding it or destroying all of the enemies on the map. I don't know. But uh, this looks and plays, uh, you know, it's just, it's amazing, I think. I'm really looking forward to unlocking more stuff. And again, you'll be earning, it looks like... Uh, points of sorts to unlock more content, you know, vehicles and uh, special abilities, that kind of thing. So let me hit continue. And I right, know where's the level selection. That's oh, over here. Okay. So I got, I guess, is that two stars on that? I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Okay, here it is down here, number two. So if I prepare, I should be able to unlock, okay, master. Okay, that was actually the difficulty. I, I played it on master. So I beat it on a medium difficulty without me realizing it. So you can make it easier than that if you want to by clicking on casual. Didn't know that. But it seems like it uh, clicking on casual, though, lessens the reward, uh, the, the training points here. Putting it on master uh, gives you 100% of the training points. And if you destroy a contaminated factory, you get plus 20%. Hardcore, save 50 people, gives you an extra 30%, uh, better reward, infinite. Oh, so you can just hold out as long as you can, and that gives you a flat out. So this is a lot of different modes, really cool. A different take on tower defense and uh, zombie killer. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to playing more. If you guys do want to see more gameplay, let me know. If you haven't already, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And check out my official website, www.dadsgamingaddiction.com. This is Vince, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.